Warren Cable Verona's premiere ended surpassing even the best initial expectations. On the 21st and 22nd of October 2019, the international conference dedicated to the wire and cable industries brought together more than 250 delegates from all over the world in the charming city of Verona, in Italy. The event was jointly organized by ACIMAF, the Italian Wire and Cable Machinery Association, and WAI, the Wire Association International. In the two halls dedicated to ferrous metals and non-ferrous metals, plenty of technical innovations were presented and discussed. We are very happy about the attendance. It's uh, more than expected. And this is uh, thanks uh, to the, our efforts to call people from all over the world, people coming from 27 different countries. Thanks to our friends of WI, we cooperate with them since a long time. And I think also the Verona venue is something attracting the people because we can offer technology, innovation, but also the beauties of Italy. We have today seen very powerful and interesting presentations. And uh, from the Wire Association International, what it stands for is education and information and bring that to the members in the best possible way. Here you are also at the possibility to cross cultures, talk to industry news and share your ideas with people from other countries. Growing through consolidation, what do you think about it? It's a theme that's come out uh, both on the supplier side and also on the manufacturer side. Uh, and uh, I think it's the way that, uh, that with the low growth rate in the wiring cable industry uh, overall, that's the way that companies are expanding their, their market and expanding their opportunities is through acquisition. I think that this is a good opportunity to understand what is happening around the world in the cable and wire industry. This is the main reason why we organize this kind of event. We know that economy is always going up and down and nobody can predict what will be the situation of tomorrow. But we are in this field since long time ago, so we are ready to survive in the bad uh, situation to be optimistic when the market is very low and to be not, uh, not optimistic when the market is good. So we have to go in the same way in any time. We presented uh, um, the last development made by the company as a functionalities uh, uh, for the uh, users of um, lines in the wire and road sector in, to transform the companies in a smart factories. Uh, we developed uh, a lot of new functionalities and uh, uh, the way to tailor uh, uh, these new functionalities uh, to adapt uh, existing plant uh, for uh, upgrading options uh, where all these functions are uh, um, aimed to provide benefits to the customer in terms of uh, higher efficiency and uh, lower time to react uh, to the new market needs. The dear guest uh, will visit our rolling mill. Uh, we are very happy about this. Uh, with our tabletop today and with the visit of tomorrow, all the uh, curiosities, the information about the benefits, the advantages uh, of the wire road produced with this uh, new, brand new rolling uh, process that uh, we have now started in uh, Verona, that is uh, a European uh, technology at the, the best benchmark uh, for the future, will be very interesting interesting the visit uh, for them um, so I hope that uh, they will enjoy and they will be satisfied. The speech you presented today was entitled why buy new equipment if the existing one is written off and running properly. What is the answer in short? In a nutshell uh, with uh, new equipment you can save for our customers they can save uh, material they increase their productivity and uh, they uh, save energy. 
So uh, with these modern machines, uh, uh, you can label your product as green product because, uh, for example, a new rod breakdown line saves 38% of energy in comparison to a 20 or 25 year old machine. And this has uh, lots of money. The total savings of a rod breakdown line, annual savings are approximately between 150 and 200,000 uh, euros per year. And I think this is significant and justifies the purchase of new equipment. Um, you presented an interesting speech today based on innovations on a steel wire market. Can you tell us something more about it? Yeah, it's a project, uh, it's a project uh, uh, which is born in collaboration between the, the Technova and, TA and Conner, which are part of the TKT group, uh, along with the University of uh, Trento and the University of Milan. So it was a strong collaboration between uh, all these uh, groups. And it's a, there are two brain projects. One is about the preparation of a new formulation able to substitute borax in the, as lubricant carrier in the wire drawing process. So we have tested different types of formulation and characterized them with our own experimental machine. The second project considered the development of a new tungsten carbide cobalt drawing die turning the carbide grain size and the production process in order to increase the hardness and the wear resistance without loss in terms of fracture toughness of the drawing die. This with the aim of increasing the drawing die life. The first day ended with a top-class reception and gala dinner in the historical halls of Palazzo Verità Poeta, where guests were able to experience the incredible taste of the typical Italian cuisine. On the following day, the delegates were taken on a tour of Acciaieria di Verona, of the Ipitini Group, hosting a brand new steel wire rod mill, and to the electrical cable manufacturer Mondini Cavi.